that's what you will get. Now, could they, um, at least Craig, can you see this sufficiently well? Not really. It's not ideal, is it? I'm just going to do this, take this off. And let's see if we can't prop it up, perhaps, like a show. Sorry, Kathy. The outside is just a little bit breezy. How's that? Is that viewable? But now it's falling down. This is actually disastrous. You know what? Let's just go outside and hold it in place. This must look tremendously smooth to all of you. Well practiced and well rehearsed. Right, so, uh, Rebecca, what are we doing? We're doing lion, hyena, and leopard, are we? And a wild dog. All right, I'm really good at doing dogs, so I'm going to do the dog first. Here's the dog. There we go. Just stay here, please. There we are. That is the wild dog. You see that? Now, that is the wild dog size. The leopard is just a little bit larger. We'll try and draw it in the same aspect. And the leopard, of course, has a head and then a body. And comparatively, probably about that size there. It's got a... Um, this one is looking towards us. go. That's roughly the right size comparison, female leopard. Male leopard a bit bigger. I don't think Karula would really fancy being represented in this fashion. Um, what do you think, Craig? Yeah. Good <laughs> it's a good drawing, isn't it? Well, this can be Karula. She's three, four. There we go. Okay, and then a lion, of course, is much, much bigger than all of those. He's, um, I'm going to draw him in the same way that I've drawn the leopard. <laughs> you know why I can't draw everybody? It's because I have absolutely no sense of proportion. Not in any shape, way, or form. And that means that although, I mean, this is roughly the proportions that lions and leopards occur in. Um, <laughs> that is basically, Kathy, the different sizes of the cats, of the predators that we have out here. Now, apparently, we also need to draw the hyena which is somewhere between the size of the leopard and the lion. In fact, this lion's not big enough. Lions are even bigger than that. But the hyena, we need to represent as somewhere between those two, so let's do it. They've got quite a square body. The tail. Some spots. They've got a terrifying set of jaws. Ropey ears. <laughs> there we have it. There is the <laughs> wild dog, leopard, hyena. Gosh, this must be entertaining television. Hyena and lion. There we go. So that, Kathy, is the relative sizes of the animals that we have out here. And <laughs> we had a comment, I forget from whom, that the wild dog doesn't look like a dog, looks like a car that was dressed up as a dog from Dumb and Dumber. Thank you very much for that. Tristan has got one of these. 